Welcome back to Simpit Academy. Today we look at the last part of the indicator lights, the main caution lights panel. So the one in DCS is pretty narrow as you see here, but um, in order to do 3D printed text, the embossed version, not the cutout, the cutout will require even bigger fonts. So the embossed version needs to be about 4 to 4.5 in order to be readable. So I determine the minimum font size, which determines the minimum width. Then that determines the, the width of the panel. So the actual physical build, it's much broader. Height-wise might be about the same, but it's much broader um, just to squeeze in the text, all right? You have to be flexible and have the result looking a bit different than DCS in order to build this. Unless you have CNC, which will give much smaller font and also less light bleed. So we'll see later. So as I said, the font size determine this text that determines the width. So some room at the top and bottom. And this is the smallest panel size I can get away with. All right, so we pocket it twice. One is just slightly um, shallow and have the sides here to hold the text that will sit flush with the panel later. Okay, like this, just a bit. Then you have the holes to screw the panel. And at the back, you build this and cover it with the holes. And then you're done, okay? So note here, you pocket this twice. One is a shallow one and later a deeper one. Okay, so. So this is done. Then we do the text. This is one of the longest text and you can squeeze it in. All right, so about 4.5. And then this thing will sit flush in the hole. And this is the result when it's printed clear, right? You print it clear because you want the lights in the LEDs inside to reflect uh, when it's inside. So then you paint, you paint the top and the bottom black to prevent light bleed, but within it, you want it to bounce around white. Okay, so I experimented with different sizes. The shorter one, I can get this bigger and the cutout, it just looks bad. So I settled with this. So you fall away. Obviously, doing CNC will give you much better result, but I don't have one. So here around the text, you can try an ultra fine tip sharpie to try to cover it uh, it only helped a bit All right so it doesn't look great but um, basically if you know which the position of which one as long as it lights up you have an idea um, even though there's a lot of light bleed so to me it still works so there's only one green and according to the text, the DCS BIOS, everything is yellow. Um, no, in DCS, everything looks yellow, but in the code, it says some are white. So I just went with this because um, I just follow what's how it looks like in the game rather than what the DCS BIOS code uh, says. All right, I couldn't get anybody that knows the real panel, what whether some are white or all of them are yellow. 
So I just go with this for now. So in terms of wiring, since we have three LEDs to help spread the light, you want to for three or more LEDs you need to do in parallel and not series. So all the cathode together, all the anode together, all right, then you need to run a resistor. So here I tried doing wrapping the leg of the LED around the resistor no matter how many times I tried it will break then I tried using a breadboard but um, the wires will come off easily it's like loose so I settled with this block connectors um, spring loaded it's pretty secure uh, it bites down when you release the spring so the one that from the LED one wire coming here and then goes through the resistor and then another wire for the same number goes to the Arduino board. So this this works out well. So this is the code. The, the one that you see from board will be the new uh, text format and this is the old one that I got working for the text format you need to declare um, something at the beginning I haven't done that so I'm using the old style and it works okay so basically it's uh, a6 or a8 and then all these numbers will change for each one so let's take a look <coughs> 